We haven't seen another sign to say it's not up here, but we also haven't seen a sign that says it is. Oh, there we go. Is it Ballet Golf Club left or right? Just a bit. Would you? Incredible views if we could see anything. <laughs> wow. Well, there's nobody here anyway. Oh, what a shame. It's not looking good again, is it? Do you know what? I really am getting tired of all this. Right, so we have arrived at Bala Golf Club and, um, well, it was about a half an hour drive. We left in the rain, it was light rain, and we're now in Torrential, let's call it that. Um, I wasn't really sure what the situation was at Bala Golf Club, but there is definitely nobody here. Um, and seriously, the weather in the UK is just so bad, and I've gone the wrong way. I was going to have a quick mooch around. The weather is so bad and obviously trying to keep these episodes um, coming thick and fast on a Monday is becoming a real challenge. And not just that, I mean, I just think everybody in the UK and probably, I don't know, you let me know where you are in the, in the world and how the weather is right now. But yeah, in the UK, courses are closed pretty much everywhere and it's been non-stop rain for months. We may need a plan B. Well, I've just took a walk up top to uh, have a little bit of a look around and first off, it's horrendously windy when you get up there and the view, which as you know, I always love, even if it's raining and miserable, there just isn't one, unfortunately, because on a normal day, the views over Bala Lake are pretty special from up here, I would imagine at least anyway. And I can't really tell a great deal. I wish they'd have put uh, on a website or something this course was closed, but effectively, um, yeah, I surrender. I'm waving the white flag. Right, so I've come up with plan B and uh, what we're going to do is we'll do a kind of what's in the bag. I'll give you an update on a couple of things, really. What is actually in my bag? And a lot of that is obviously to do with this uh, sponsorship from PXG. Um, it's also changed in the sort of top end of the bag quite considerably. And I'll maybe go into more detail on another video, but I'll give you a quick look at to what's there. And maybe just inside some of the smaller pockets as well, uh, the bits and pieces that I carry around with me to make sure that uh, I enjoy my round of golf. So here it is, a quick mooch through 
what is in my bag and also what's on my feet because right now if I didn't have these things on I would be absolutely sodden. <laughs> you can do me a big favor with it's highly unlikely this is going to be a fantastic video and possibly the worst episode we've ever filmed of off the beaten track but i still need your support what happens is everybody is hitting that like button and posting comments when i make a, a, a request and you getting involved with the kind of photo of the week again has been amazing how that helps me is that youtube recognizes the interaction whether that be a comment or a like and because it sees it being as a popular video and a positive video, it promotes it more. So that's the concept behind why so many people ask you to sort of like, comment and all those things. And of course, subscribe as well. So if you can find it within yourself some way, then post any sort of comment because I doubt we're going to have photo of the week uh, this week. That's going to be highly unlikely. But any words or a like then appreciate it. If not, then just the good old view will do. A huge thank you to PXG for sponsoring our Off The Beaten Track series. And make sure you go and check out the new PXG Black Ops Driver Challenge. Details can be found in the footer below and also over on my Instagram account. Right, we're finished on the golf course. We've given up. We've stopped off at a nearby farm shop, which uh, will be interesting because it will become part of next week's video or will become clear next Monday night. For now, it's a flat white. An explanation why that change up in my bag is really important to me. And the main reason being is for a long time, I've always been swapping and changing golf clubs. Not necessarily by choice, just because... I'm always reviewing something. I'm always trying out somebody else's equipment. I never ever did a video where we passed a comment or a review on a video where it was just kind of, uh, you know, hit a few shots and then pass comments. I always like to keep it in the bag for a few weeks. The thing for me, and why it made it really just not a good idea, was that I never had a, a, a setup that I was familiar with, comfortable with. I never really got to grips with my yardages in the bag, so that was always difficult. So the one thing with having this settled, what's in the bag, or settled bag rather, is that moving forward, I'm hoping that I can start to get a good grip on exactly, like I said, right club selection, know exactly what type of shots I can play with each club, and it should, in effect, help me to play better golf. So that's a huge positive for me. Now, we've got one more item to discuss, and it's an important one, and that is a little subject called clickbait. Now this book is titled The Satsuma Complex. It has nothing to do with the Satsuma nor a complex. In fact, the words used in the title can be found only once in the 298 pages of this book. When I left my online review, I said the book was brilliant and fully enjoyed and at no point did I inform Mr. Mortimer that the title had misled me or indeed suggested it might be clickbait. I have two issues with people who post negative comments. First off, this channel is made for grown-ups. I don't expect to see adults post a comment about a title of a video. The second being why would anyone want to focus their energy on negativity when there is so much positivity within our content? It really is a disappointing mindset that seems to be a part of our culture right now. This video is likely to be titled that I'm not happy and I can't take this anymore and is derived from when I said this earlier on in the video. It's not looking good again, is it? Do you know what? I really am getting tired of all this. One other title that caused some cries from the clickbait police was impossible to continue. A video in which I said this. Absolutely horrendous and I just don't know how, if we can actually get this one finished. 
Now, if you can't determine why those videos are titled as such, then I really cannot help you. But I can tell you, this channel probably isn't for you. But of course, that negativity is from a very small minority, and that is not the way we want to end this video. It's all about positivity. And I want to thank everybody that, first of all, accepts my creative license, uh, and also those that get involved in that comment section in very much a positive manner. And uh, understand that this content is produced with a huge amount of dedication and a passion for creating entertaining content that is very different in the golf space right now. I said that's what we uh, sort of at the outset what we were trying to do and we're trying to make that better each and every week. Unfortunately this week didn't go quite as planned but again I hope you can accept that as to what it is and as I said earlier on the video any kind of interaction with this video would be greatly appreciated. And for now, we'll leave it there. Thanks, massive thanks in any which way you get involved in this channel. And I'll see you all next week.